Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number 32 of my Lazio Football Manager 2016 Let's Play. We have got arguably the biggest match of the season for us against Juventus at home. If we win, we actually go outright first. That is huge because it's at home. Because, you know, away away from home against them, that game is going to be pretty hard. When's that going to be in the season? That's going to be later in the season. Uh, well, they are fairly later in the season anyway, so that's going to be interesting. But there is uh, something that I did want to talk about uh, with you guys. I'll probably add a comment. It will pop up and, yeah, you can see what I'm talking about pretty much. Uh, there was someone saying that this series is boring, and that's the first thing I wanted to touch on. If you guys think this is boring for whatever reason, I'd love to see some feedback from you guys. What would you rather see? What would gather your interest more? Because I know these videos could be doing a lot better, definitely with likes and views and all of that, but... I need more feedback than just saying it's boring. What would you rather see? And also, the next part of that is, you'll probably notice that comment uh, was flagged, unless there's bad words, like saying uh, that it's boring. I've got boring as one of my uh, kind of flagged words, and also cheat or cheated. Uh, for whatever reason, back on my FC United save, when I stopped it, this is obviously one of the people uh, that think that, I promised something like uh, like that I cheated them just because I stopped doing it. It doesn't even make sense. It's just it's so weird that people uh, think that because it's not like you've invested anything to my channel. You don't pay to watch my videos. It's hundred percent free. Uh, you can stop watching them at any time, and yeah, there's no fees or anything like that. So yeah, I, when I get those kind of uh, comments, I've got those before, but again, you haven't seen them because they get flagged like that automatically, uh, which is probably one of my favorite features on YouTube. I've got a very big <laughs> blacklist of those words, but uh, yeah, just because I stopped doing a certain series, uh, people think I cheat them or something like that. It just, it honestly boggles my mind where I started YouTube back 2012 uh, July 2012, so basically four years on YouTube pretty much now, and I started zero. I created my channel fresh. My channel was nothing from the start. I created it all, and I did that. I created this channel and making Football Manager videos first before FIFA. I just, I created this channel um, to record myself playing these games, uh, Football Manager especially first up, because that's where the idea came from, just to get away, so I can sit in my room and forget about what's going on in my life, so I hope you guys can understand that, I I'd, I'd record myself doing things I enjoy, recording a save on Football Manager I enjoy, just so I can be happy about something, um, and for this to be a success, again, I think this is a success, that's also another, another topic, I suppose, with comments that people like to say is that I don't get as much views for the amount of subscribers I have, which 100k subscribers, I'm so amazed that I could have got that much because I never thought, yeah, um, I would be that interesting to that many people. So, yeah, I think that's absolutely amazing. So maybe that's why people drop off this time of the year. But that's not unfamiliar with channels. It's not just me. People don't understand. I'm not sure if I'll put up another comment as well because I always get those this time in the year. Hell, there'll probably be some in this video. <laughs> like, the last video had, like, two um, two, two comments talking about views and, uh, someone, I don't like to talk about this a lot, like all the start of the video, but it's on my mind. Hope you understand. But someone actually said, why does the video only have 300 views? And it was only two hours as it was uploaded. Not every person stays on YouTube all day and has no job. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, some people just, it's so, fr it's just very frustrating. I won't talk about it too much more, but yeah, you just got to understand this time in the year, the Premier League's finish, everything like that. Um, people drop interest, just come back when, yeah, Fever 17 is out and watch my Manchester United career mode, uh, like the one I did this year for Fever 16, and yeah, the first six episodes got over 100,000 views, so, um, yeah, I'll be expecting that again, and that's when those comments won't come anymore, I'll be excited for that, so apologies if you, yeah, found that part boring, so don't focus on that, the general, yeah, the general videos in my series, what, what would you like to see, uh, pretty much? I just want to get that off my chest so you can see my opinion, because if I did a soul video on that, if the video was specifically that, it probably would get a lot of dislikes and that kind of thing. So if I made it in a video in my series, um, yeah, it would just be a bit more easier to do. So hopefully you guys will understand that. And now we will get into the episode Lazio versus Juventus. Okay, Tassamoa, Guerrero, Dybala. Don't tell me, I wasn't even ready. 
Is that a goal in the first? <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, come on. Let's just get that goal back. Please, forget about that. That was ridiculous to score, yeah, that early. Come on, boys. Parolo. Anazi. Let's get it back. Zivkovic. Basta. Belotti. Come on. We've got it back now. Just, yeah, let's start from fresh again. Let's start from fresh like it was nil-nil again. We're on equal terms. That was a very nice goal. So now I can say what I wanted to <laughs> before when the game was just about to start is now, especially, I really want to get results in this game, especially. If I can win the league, I think it will be a great achievement. And I don't get... I think this is really interesting this season. We're neck and neck with Juve. To me, this is really interesting, this save, <laughs> if I'm being honest right now. It's so exciting for me anyway. And I like to think I do sound excited. And yeah, another side of things, I think I've built this team uh, really well. Like, I think we've done a good job here. Oh no, just every time... This Guerrero guy looks really dangerous. Oh, good tackle. Oh, imagine if we mount another attack. But we gave the ball away. Just look at these big names. Pogba, Guerrero, Gentiletti with the important challenge. But Alexander, we just keep giving it away. You're just not good at all. Nelson Semedo, Caceres out wide. Caceres, Dybala scores another goal. He's so good now. Let's just take a look at him. And yeah, pretty pretty good attributes. Uh, he's valued over 30 million, so uh, obviously he's a key player uh, for Juventus. Uh, but yeah, all the space as well. Martin Caceres, who is a very good player when he's got that kind of space. And yeah, we had the man was there. Dybala was just too good. Okay, Basta. Can we get a goal right back again? It's going to fall to Lulic. Lulic, Zivkovic. It's 2-2. Is it? It counts. Yes, it does. There's four goals in this game in 24 minutes. How about that? We've actually had more shots on target and we've had an extra clear-cut chance. So we do look on attacking-wise today. And this game, who knows how it's going to end this game. It's crazy so far. Basta with the throw-in. Could we take the lead? It's still so early in the game, though. Basta! We've got the lead! Who would have thought? It's our own goal to Benucci! And take that, mate. We have got the lead against Juventus. Screenshot that right there. 32 points uh, to 29. We just need to hold on to it right now. Benucci, uh, what a terrible piece of play for him. Philippe Anderson! Go on, Zivkovic! Basta, could it be four? Anazi, Zivkovic, Parolo, Zivkovic, Belotti! It's four, mate! Andrea Belotti! We're in the pole position to beat Juve right now, and it is happening. Wow. Look at that, Zivkovic. It could have been a penalty, arguably, but fell to Belotti, and he smashed it. Okay, highlight. <laughs> well, be a bit disappointed. I'd love to... Yeah, uh, keep this lead going into halftime. But even if they score, we've still got a lead, which is a good thing. Oh, don't let them play it through, Alexander. It's going to be a cross. And it's defended, saved really well by Ruli. See, that could have been a goal. But now we'll hopefully hold on to this two-goal lead going to halftime. Be in really good position at halftime. This could win us... This could be like a league title decider. I know there's plenty of games left to go in the season, but if we can beat Juventus, uh, you would like to think uh, we can beat a lot of other teams as Juventus will also probably do. So this will be big three points if we can, in fact, hold on to them. And yeah, like what I talked about at kind of the start of the episode, I'm really, I'm kind of glad I can have a good performance here <laughs> to get a win against Juventus. The best team in the league will be absolutely perfect. Yeah, that, that will put me in a good mood, 100%. Uh, again, yeah, you have to guard against complacency. Usually I say only when I'm a goal up, but <laughs> yeah, when you're two goals up against the best team in the league, it's almost the same thing. It's almost the same as being one up. Okay, it's free kick for Zivkovic. Can we finish it off almost? Imagine if that was a goal. We're actually dominating here against Juventus. Even though possession is fairly even, we're not really about maintaining possession too much. More about direct play. And it still could be a chance. Drossi! <laughs> we look good, don't we? Ooh, we're hitting some form at the right time, I'd like to think, for the league season anyway. Champions League, uh, yeah, I think uh, we can't make it now, but... 
we get in Europa League, could be a good chance for that as well. But we will pause and make a change. Even though we are playing very nicely, I think we've put ourselves in a good position now. So we have to be responsible. Or we should be responsible. I'm going... Or Drussi. Uh, this is going to be more a tactical sub. I'm going to bring on a third centre-back. We're going to bring on Daniele Rugani against his old team. And just... I rarely ever do this unless it's a game like this. Especially that I really want to make sure we're going to win here. And I'll just put... Can we go limited? We go for limited fullbacks. And Basta, how does he go? Oh, he's not... Nah, just go fullback. I like the fullbacks on the same role. So, same with Sinad Lulic. Uh, he can just go fullback again. Yeah, pretty... He's good attack like getting forward. So, again, maybe consider Stefan Radu as well. Yeah, I'm actually going to most likely do that. Uh, that's his best role, isn't it? Yeah, fullback on support. I'm thinking about on defend, but yeah, better on support because we can still have the opportunity to score another goal as well on the counter. So we will go change that as well. Uh, we'll go on the countering mentality and defensive line. Uh, we'll, we'll sit slightly deeper now. And yeah, more direct passing. We'll keep it like that. Be more disciplined. So yeah, that is all uh, pretty good um, how I would like. And yeah, we don't need to make any other changes. I just need to go, yeah, a bit more defensively now, so we can make sure we got to be, we have to be, we have to be smart about it, hundred percent. So yeah, just acting more defensive is uh, the best option from here. I'm thinking about all two center midfielders. Hopefully that will be okay, and we will get dominated too much, or we might make another change. We'll see how we go. Okay, it's a throw in for Caceres. We've got to defend. That's why, yeah, that's my main... Oh, oh, I thought we could have countered there, maybe. Alexandro. They can't get past this defense we have, surely. See, but across. Across, it was defended well initially. And it's, on the second time, it was really well done there. Well done, boys. There was actually no... Usually, there's a shot, actually, for a highlight. That was really well done. So, they bring on Caceres, or bring off Caceres for Pereira. So, they're going a bit more attacking. So, it's kind of playing into, into our hands right now. It's playing into our hands exactly how we would like it. Thinking about a change again. We don't need to score another goal, really. Riyad Mahrez, could he come on? He's... Mm, or Philippe Anderson just to come off. No, nah, has to be has to be more tactical at this stage. Even though Belotti, he's on a hat trick. He's on a hat trick. That is, that is something I'm thinking about. I'm gonna take off Zivkovic. See, I'm really thinking here because it's so crucial. I'm gonna bring on Balde Kater. I'm I'm just <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what's what's gonna work here. No, nah, just Belotti, because, yeah, what I thought, that's not going to work. We just Because I want to add another central midfielder, and probably the best option is Danilo Cataldi for mine, and he'll go defensive midfield. He's not bad defensive midfield. He can play that deep line playmaker on defend, and that is going to be perfect. We take off the striker. We don't need, we don't because we don't need to score another goal. Just get another defensive midfield number there, and, yeah, that's that, we're done. We're done. We, we should win now. We've gone defensive. Unless Juve... It's up to Juve now. It's up to them to win the game. Make their own changes. And they've got a long throw. Please, no. Rogani, he defended it. <laughs> we are totally not looking for a goal right now. So Juve's going to be the one on. And that was so close. Oh, it's a corner, Zivkovic. Come on, again. Wasn't that like in the previous episode we had a player that didn't really want to go for the ball? Guerrero. I noticed when I click the screen, it like makes it lag as well. So I'll try and not click on the screen. I don't know. I don't know why. I need a new computer, maybe. <laughs> Nelson Semedo. Pogba. Alexandro. They're looking for those crosses. It's bound to... Yeah, it's uh, with the amount of crosses they're going for... Yeah, like, they're bound to... Let's just go... We have to go contain right now. Can we go anything more defensive? We can just sit slightly deeper. We've got higher... We can try and waste time a little bit. Yeah. 
this has to be... Yeah, this has to be a win. We've already made those changes. So, come on. We have to hold on. If they score another to equalise, I'll be really disappointed. But they've had a lot of crosses in this game. They've been going for them. And in FM16 this year, eventually, yeah, they're going to score. Oh, I'm, I'm really scared because there's over 10 minutes remaining. There's going to be at least one more highlight. Well, there wouldn't be if I needed a goal. <laughs> oh, come on. Um, nah, this is not a good sign at all. Good save, Ruli. Good save. That, yes. That was it, yeah? <laughs> that was it, Zivkovic. Now let's go. Waste time. Try and create an opportunity, I suppose. Philippe Anderson. Parolo. Yeah. That was a good save, Ruli. Come on, Ruli. You can do it. Come on, please, boys. I need this victory. I need this three points here. This is so huge. <laughs> yeah, and probably it'll make me look bad if we don't get the three points if I, yeah, drop the win here. Because we're in a great position. And after all the changes I make, it's going to happen. Yeah, come on. Oh, no, not late quarter. No. It has to be... A yeah, come on. <laughs> we beat Juventus. Oh, I swear. You know, these kind of games, everything is riding on it. I get so hyped up about it because... Yeah, like, it's you need to get these results, and you want it to be positive. You don't want any negatives. Like, like I said, if there's, like, a little negative, someone will point it out, but you can't talk about it now. Yeah, come on. What a win. What a win. So, guys, I'm hyped up right now. Let's just head straight into the next game. I haven't really made the changes yet, so Kishner will take him off. Uh, Fabian Nguera... Uh, Zivkovic, oh, see, we need to probably rotate. I don't want to rotate a lot of our players, though, but we will bring in Riyad Mahrez for Zivkovic. He was very good in the last game. We'll say that. Uh, we'll take Zivkovic off. Ravel Morrison, There's almost this is almost easy <laughs> with the amount of players we'll take off. I think uh, Gentiletti, he seems like he's good during the games, but we'll just yeah drop him out there, and Rugani uh, will come in. Zivkovic, and we'll just put him there. And that will be the seven subs. So that's all good. Belotti will leave on. Philippe Anderson will bring on Bolde Keita. Philippe Anderson, recent five games. Not amazing rating. Bolde Keita just, yeah, maybe hitting some form. Or I'm hoping for him to for now. Lukas Billy is going to come back in the squad here for Onazi. And I think Onazi... Oh, no, nah, I like Cataldi. He'll come on. Yeah, hopefully... Or if I need a central midfielder to come on, he will be the one. Dusan Basta. We might as well pay. Or we might as well play Patrick, especially Basta will drop him out. You know, because yeah, he's going to be fully fit uh, to play. Uh, Radu will go left back, and then we can put one more one more player. I think oh, we already got the center midfielder. Uh, yeah, I guess because you don't know, you can still get an injury or something like that. So we still will put Basta on the bench there. You might think we don't have a center back, but yeah, center backs very rarely get injured. So, but it is is something on my mind, Gentiletti. So actually, <laughs> another because these guys are on yellow cards. If I bring them on, I think yeah, Basta. Yeah, we'll just we'll make that change, and I think uh, that should be it. Again, it's a strong lineup anticipation to actually uh, win this game so that's a good thing as well to get two impressive victories here it's in a way it's still possible it's still p but it's not because yeah Barcelona still have to play against Besiktas one more time but yeah it looks like it looks like we are going to uh, finish in this third position for Europa League so let's just go on and get the job done come on tackle him tell him don't let him get past really makes an important save early in the game they do have an early corner here, should be defended, and it is. They might have opportunity here, though, or we can clear Radu does well. Sosa. Come on, get rid of this. It's a long shot from Sosa and really makes the save. So they're actually creating some early chances here. Okay, it's Beck with the throw in. Cristante. Come on, don't let them get that cross in. It's Sosa. Good defense. Good defense. Don't let them have a clear opportunity. Radu, really well done there. Can Belotti get to it? No. Well, okay. Besiktas, yeah, they're still holding on to high possession. They seem to be dominating possession right now. And we seem to be giving it away. We're just, we'll ease into the game, hopefully. Especially playing at home here. Like, you probably think Besiktas deserve a goal with their early play here. Okay, it's out wide. 
It's out wide, Cristante. Good defending now. Bilia, we're blocking their early chances. Hopefully we can get over this like early little patch in the game where they're having some opportunities. And then we'll have ours and then hopefully score ourselves. But Sosa, Auburn, dealt with well. Okay, Mares, this is the opportunity. Hopefully I talked about Patrick Radu. Oh, there was the chance, and it was a really good one. Radu, you probably would expect him to score. He's pretty good in the air with his head because uh, he can play centre-back as well. Yeah, pretty tall player, good header of the ball. Okay, we're getting some opportunities here. This is nice. Just before half-time, we've got 10 minutes. I'd like to see a goal from us. Auburn across to Rugani. Mares, Patrick, come on, get this cross in. Patrick, Mares, Bilia. Oh, good. Both teams have had shots but not quite getting the breakthrough. Mares now. Oh, he gets past. Oh, that looked real dangerous right there. Parolo now. Belotti. Patrick. Drussi. Mares. Oh, the goalkeepers are so good today. Highlight just before halftime. Honestly, I don't think any team deserves to go behind. Just before half time, but at the same time, both of us deserve a goal at least. So we'll see how it'll play out. Win the header Parolo against Sosa did well there. Belotti. This could be the goal I talked about, but we gave away possession. Tolga clears. We get it back now. Patrick, that was a poor header, man. Oh, it's Sosa now. They're going to have this opportunity. No. No, saved. Oh, man. We are getting saved by Ruli right now. <laughs> He's so good. And it's half time. So, we are going to say assertively, I'm far from pleased because we've let them create quite a few chances. So, we're going to go attacking now, and then we'll go into the instructions. We'll go to take off, be more disciplined, and we'll go lower tempo and shorter passing, retain possession, make a change, make a change like that uh, right now and see. Uh, if that will make the difference. Okay, really with the goal kick. Want an early goal in the half. Don't want the half to keep going on where we haven't scored and then we'll have to go desperately for a goal. Bilia, because because we've beat Juventus, we should really be expecting <laughs> to beat this lot. Belotti! He finds the back of the net there for his eighth goal of the season. So exactly what I wanted there, as I mentioned. An early goal in the half. So we don't have to go desperate, kind of. Did make those changes, to be fair. And it showed. Scoring in six minutes. So really happy with that. Bilia. Uh, that was actually a sly tackle. Uh, but Belotti in the good position to finish. So now we will look for a change. I think I will take off Belotti, though. He's been very good. Just want to keep him fit uh, for coming up games. And bring on Loic Remy, who's been on some nice goal-scoring form. He scored quite a few goals in the last month or so. So bring him on complete forward, and that uh, will be the change, the single change we'll make for now. Just say, I have faith in his ability. And you can see there, Man City take the lead. So right now, we're only one point away from Barcelona. So even if Barcelona win the next game against Besiktas, uh, yeah, I, I want to be as close as I can to Barcelona, just to make, it, make the table look good, to see if we were that close. Yeah, it's like we're only one point away from them. So I think that actually doesn't look too bad right now. So we, this game, it, it's just cruising right now. The game is cruising. I don't think either team looks like scoring another. We will uh, bring off Redu, those conditions going down. We'll bring on uh, Lulic for him. And also Willie Auburn, who's on a yellow card. So actually, it was a good thing. I'm, I'm thinking take him off, I think, because he was in yellow card as well. And you would just bring on Santiago Gentiletti. And again, this has been a pretty quiet game in the second half. Different contrast to the first half. Can we finish it off in style to make it look like a decent victory? Can we get a second goal? Bilia goes bang with a second and his first goal of the season. So he's been wanting to score one for a while now and that was a good strike. Parolo squared it up for him and he had a bit of space uh, to kind of uh, make that for himself and hit it exactly how he wanted. Heading into injury time now, just a couple of minutes to be played. Ooh, Barcelona equalized. So I'm not sure that's not really going to make a difference. It wouldn't, yeah, it wouldn't have made a difference anyway if they did or not. 
So, Rugani, Patrick, Parolo now, Mares, Keita, Drusi, let's finish it! Come on! Finishing this episode off in style. I'm really happy how we've yeah played these both games. Honestly, Juve, that was going to be hard. We conceded goals, but we scored enough to win. And in the end, this is dominating performance 3-0 on the score sheets. Couldn't have uh, wished for better performances and results, to be honest. Like I said before, with what I talked about at the start of the video, it's good to uh, yeah get some positive positivity into it. Some nice results. Probably couldn't have planned them any better uh, myself, to be honest. Uh, again, John Ruli, he made important saves early in the game. So I'm happy with how we played in the second half. We uh, were much better defensively. So I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad we did that. It showed some improvement there. So, boys, here we are at the end of the episode. Uh, very good two games in the space of three days. And it was Champions League game, league game. Champions League might have meant nothing, the win, because uh, maybe just making sure we're going to be in the Europa League knockout stages, making sure they didn't get a result against us, like get a victory against us. That would have been disappointing. But, yeah, we did uh, work hard for that Juve result. After getting that two-goal lead, we conceded a later goal, but yeah, we held on really, really wisely. And again, like I mentioned, for what I said at the start of the video, I just want to, sometimes I want to talk about something I'm feeling or something like that. And I just want you guys to know that I'm a real person as well. Like, and I can get frustrated with what people say. Um, um, but for the most part, I do ignore it. Uh, I think it's more so that I just, I'm disappointed that people don't understand where I'm coming from. I know, the thing is, I know this is like a, just a select few people and majority of you guys, yeah, understand what I'm trying to do on YouTube here. And a lot of you guys understand that people don't really have much interest in the games anymore. Like, FIFA and Football Manager this time of the year. The hype is for the new games and when FIFA 17 rolls around, you won't be seeing people talking about, oh, you don't have many views for 100k subscribers. So, yeah, I'm just, I'm waiting for that time to come around. So, I'm actually, for this time in the year, compared compared to other times, like previous years, in this time in the year, like last two years, I, I always would get disappointed. But this year, because I know, yeah, it's going to be hype, especially it's going to be my first year with 100k going into those new games. It'll be, I'll have more people interested in my channel because they'll be like, oh, look, 100k subscribe channel. And then, yeah, yeah, it just, it's going to be a good time. So hopefully you guys that are talking about that, you will, st you will stick around to see that. And um, hopefully, um, yeah, you'll be uh, leaving me some different comments because, uh, you'll probably look silly if you would say I wouldn't be getting much views when FIFA 17 is out. Just, I'm waiting for that time. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget to drop a like on the video as well if you want to see some more. If you don't want to see more Football Manager videos, yeah, drop a, li uh, drop a like as well. Just <laughs> leave any rating. Dislike, like, uh, whatever you feel like, to be honest. Uh, it doesn't really make a difference at the end of the day. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'll end here because uh, I have a lot of things keep running in my mind. Don't want to drag it on too much. But that's it for now. Hopefully you enjoyed those victories. That nice one against Juventus was very good. I'll see you guys in the very next video.